on somewhere you won't like. <laughs> um, so, uh, like last song, I'm gonna do a last little number, and um, I, do, I don't normally end uh, on a on a on a sort of negative. Well, it's kind of a positive as well. Like, first of all, I know it's kind of like a pyrrhic, if that's what the right word, but like a sort of empty victory. But just for the moment, let's just have a little a little bit of a celebration and a cheer that just for a, f a little while that Michael Gove <laughs> is gone. <laughs> Just coming blinking out into the sunlight. Don't they? <laughs> is he gone? Do you promise he's gone? Oh, it's probably worse. Let's go. Well, he's in the toilets of the house of Parliament. They're just like there. If you can't get out, then you're staying in there. Thank goodness that he hasn't been replaced. What did they teach you? Is that true? Are you just? Is, he, is that true? Yes, it's true. His first day is a new job. He got locked in Lou. <laughs> That's great. Oh, if only he'd stayed there. No matter how long he would have survived, just drinking, drinking water from the bowl. <laughs> I would watch that on like a 24 hour feed. I some kind of pay per view. Friggin' Michael Gove. Thank goodness, at least, that he hasn't been replaced by like a horrible homophobe with exactly the same values as him. <laughs> so, uh, so like, I had a bit of a thing, like a couple of months ago, I had a bit of a thing that um, Michael Gove in an interview, anybody doesn't know this, he, he was asked what kind of music he likes, and he said, I've got a bit of a guilty pleasure, I quite like Mr. B and Professor Elemental, I like chat. <laughs> Imagine how, like, and it's hard as well, like, you know, independent musical artists, you can't tell people not to like your music. You can't say, oh, you know, you don't, you're not allowed to like that. Poor Oh, can you? <laughs> so the Daily Telegraph, there was a lot of press about it at the time. Daily Telegraph ran an article, they interviewed Mr. B here at length, uh, and they said... <laughs> Professional Mr. B, he said, uh, Mr. B said, I suspect he's more of a fan of me than the other way around, shall we put it like that? <laughs> and it says, Professor Elemental was more blunt. <laughs> And I quote, if Gove turned up to one of my gigs, I'd instruct the audience to beat him to a pulp with sticks. <laughs> Anymore. There's some stuff, the Tories are taking everything, the ruling class is eating everything like a big hungry caterpillar. On Wednesday, he ate the NHS and the prison <laughs> family, they were still hungry. No! Fuck off! I'm saying right here, right now, they're not, they're not allowed in this party. They can have everything else. They're not allowed to hang out with us. Like, Eric Pickles is not allowed to become a brony. <laughs> is not welcome at your next LARPing event. And George Osborne's Wolverine cosplay is outlawed! So, um, and, uh, yeah, I want to finish on a big triumphant note. Like, this is a big celebration to say goodbye to Gove. That's one down. we just got to get rid of the whole rest of the party. And we'll be, we'll be golden. It'll be fine. So, hit it if you'd be so kind. I want to thank uh, all of you for coming out. You've been absolutely amazing, man. Thank you so much for having me. Big respect to the Devil's Two Fox Joe. Professor in person.
assassination. Let it end now, it's impertinent waiting. You seem a bit of a twat. What you need to do is rap a non parody chat. Oh, that's not proper, just not cricket. Put away your policies or I'll tell you where to stick it. I. Professor Elemental! 